Yo, what's good guys? It's the Young King Lee back at it with another reaction video. This is gonna be uh top ten animes that are movies that'll make you cry. Um I don't know man. Did a reaction to Joyner Lucas. Um what was Joyner Lucas? I'm not racist. And the video got blocked worldwide, so it is what it is. But we're gonna get right into this top ten animes that'll make you cry. I watch Mojo. It's been a while. I watch Mojo, man. It's been a while since. It's been a while. Since I need to start back doing more anime reactions, and that's what I'm doing, man. I might come out with a BTS reaction, but that's only something different. Uh, somebody told me I need to stop doing reactions to it, but it's yo, it's a reaction channel. I just don't want to stick to just doing anime. So, you no, know, if you could give me something different, I wouldn't. <laughs> reactive BTS, but a lot of people like it, so let's go. Mojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anime movies that will make you cry. It was almost like, like seeing I'm a sympathetic crier, man. Nothing more or less. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the animated movies from Japan that made audiences burst into tears, oh, either out of an overwhelming kids. sense of sadness or joy. <laughs> Number 10, Hotorubi no Mori E. Okay. You can bet there's going to be a lot of unconventional romances on the list because if there's anything that can make you start to well up, it's the brewing love of two people who shouldn't be together. After getting lost in a forest, a young girl named Hotaru encounters a spirit known as Kin, and the two soon oh, become friends. Okay. So he dared to say, oh man. Sorry. As the years pass, friendships blossom into unspoken affection. But there's just one problem. If Gin is touched by a human, something terrible will happen. Robbed of any physical contact, the oh. relationship shared between the two will have you bawling by the end. <laughs> Number 9, Stand By Me, Doraemon. That's sad. Are you ready back there? Mm -hmm. Since the early 70s, this time-traveling robotic cat has brought joy to countless children. An icon of Japanese animation, it's fair to say that a lot of audiences would have grown up with Doraemon and maybe even watched them with their own kids since the series is going to this very day. Wow, that's a long time. Oh. Now with that mentality in mind, when you have a movie dedicated to said robotic cat returning to his own era and leaving his beloved friend Nobita behind, is it any surprise why apparently there was mass sobbing from Japanese audiences during screenings? Do you even have to ask? Number 8, Wolf Children. Look at me. Tell me what you see. A human and a werewolf fall in love and have two of the most adorable hybrid kitties you'll ever meet. Then, it gets sad. After the death of her beloved, Hana moves to the countryside in order to oh, raise two children. So, on to the next. There's a cute little house in the village. I think I'll you'll... take it. <laughs> this is the one I want. Following her trials as a single mother and both Yuki and Ami's adjustment to what both the, the human and wolf side inside them, this most bizarre of family dynamics is bound to cause your heart to explode. There truly is no greater love than a mother has for her children. Even if everybody else is mean to them, I'm gonna stick up for the wolves through thick and thin no matter what. <laughs> Number seven, the girl who leapt through time. What is that? Everyone knows the rule, you don't mess around with time travel. After discovering that she has the power to make jump through time, a high school girl named Makoto does what any of us would do. Get selfish. All I have to do is Man, I do that too, bro. I'll be rich, I boy. All my spending rich. Money again. Unfortunately, there are always consequences, and it's not long before her actions cost her dearly. In those moments where she breaks down over what she's lost, we're right alongside Makoto crying our eyes out. Someone call a teacher. Number six, Whisper of the Heart. Wow, I've never seen a blimp so close. Ghibli has finally made its entrance, giving us a film that will speak to anyone with a passion or a dream, and how the journey to make that dream a reality can often be heartbreaking. As she continues to press forward with her writing, teenager be, Shizuku finds herself having to deal with adolescent love and the hardships of the real world while she struggles to write her book. 
There okay. may be no fantastical elements to it, but the relatable hard lessons that Shizuku has to learn will hit you in the heart all the same. Now when I read a little voice inside me says, you know, if you could relate to it, man, fairy tales, that's a plus. Number five, the wind rises. Never heard of these animes. These movies. You knew we'd be seeing a Miyazaki film, though this one certainly packs much more weight due to the fact that many of the events depicted are based on history. Following the life of aircraft designer Jiro Horikoshi, the film hits the audience heavy as we watch Jiro's lover suffer through disease, all while his own creations are being used to assist the insurmountable bloodshed of the First World War. Ah. Oh, whether for the historical implications of the tragedy or the struggle of these two lovers, Jiro's journey is both beautiful and utterly heartbreaking. But if I could fly Number a plane like that with a rubber actress. band, bro, we wouldn't have to be here shooting all this background, you know. <sighs> That's cool, bro. She's not a performer anymore. That was so Fame cool. Fame truly is a fickle friend. The film depicts the life of a well-known actress who through various flashbacks recounts her career as well as her lifelong search for a mysterious painter she encountered in her youth. As though you're standing on a strange and distant planet. <sighs> the way the film blends together pieces of her younger years but what if the painter's scenes from her many acting roles doesn't only make for a beautiful viewing experience, but also a sad reflection of how her glamorous life has also been one filmed with incredible loneliness and unfulfillment. Number three, your name. Who was it? Who? Who? I feel like he's What's looking for name? someone. Yep. Yeah. After awakening in each other's bodies and without any knowledge of who the other is, Taki and Mitsuha must find a way to reverse whatever happened to them, all while searching for each other as they live out a day in the life of the opposite sex. What follows is the most unconventional of love stories <laughs> wow. and one packed with so much emotional weight that by the time the ending rolls around, you're either going to be cheering your head off or weeping on the floor. Makoto Shinkai will not be content until he has us in absolute pieces. Check out his other works like 5 centimeters per second if you don't believe us. Why am I? Number 2, A Silent Voice. <laughs> Bullying is a monster, and as this film explores, it is very easy for an attacker to become the victim. In a heartbreaking story of redemption and forgiveness, an isolated student named Shoya sets out to make amends for the pain he caused to a deaf girl. Oh, I thought I saw this before. From its artistic interpretations of solitude, the melody of emotions, and the journeys our character takes just in order to arrive at an apology, you'll end up a wreck by the end of the whole thing. It may hit close to home for many, but that's what makes this story all the more beautiful in the end. Mata. Number one, Grave of the Fireflies. Not Anime has depicted war in a variety of ways, though none pack as much of a punch as Seta and Setsuko's harrowing tale of survival in the wake of the Second World War. As they head from place to place, it slowly becomes clear that we're watching two orphan children starve to death. Just oh. hang on. We'll be out of here soon enough. Despite the film practically laying out a morbid outcome in the very first scene, nothing can prepare us for the most tragic moments the film throws at us. Please don't let the kid die. Please don't let the kill die. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day. I was about to say, dude. If they would have let the little girl die, bro, I would have been mad, bro. I, I would have been mad. I promise you I would have been mad. I would the tear the tear was sitting right there, bro. The tear was sitting right there. Anyway, man, you like the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you new. Make sure you go show watch most of your support, man. I'm possibly gonna go watch some of these videos. I mean, some of these movies, man, because I, I know I want to watch the last one with the two children that are starving during the Second World War. Uh, I want to watch the Death Girl one, um, and the one that switched bodies. I want to watch that one. Uh, those are the three main on the top of the list, and then I'll have to go back and watch the video to see what the other ones are. But anyway, drop a like, 
subscribe if you're new guys and um peace